I rise in opposition to this amendment. Um, you know, this Congress appropriates money every year for ICE and for Border Patrol for their weapons, for whatever their needs are, this Congress appropriates, this Congress authorizes and appropriates for those needs. And so ICE and Border Patrol or uh, do not need to rely on the government's 1033 surplus military weapons program in order to do their jobs. If we had to rely on the 1033 program for our law enforcement, we'd be in bad shape. We don't do it. We've never done it. We won't do it. Now, the thing about the 1033 program that needs to be shut down is the fact that it allows these law enforcement agencies to petition directly to the Department of Defense to get whatever military-grade weapons they want. No civilian authority involved whatsoever. So that means the Park Service, for instance. The, the U.S. Park Service is a police agency of, uh, uh, of the federal government. Should the head of the parks uh, police decide that they want a, uh, you know, an armed drone to do their work here in, uh, inside of our borders? No, we should not allow for that to uh, be a possibility. But with this 1033 program, it is a possibility, and it's something that we need to close up. We don't need the uh, Postal Service police to uh, be militarizing. For what purpose? I mean, if we authorize it and appropriate the funding for it, fine. But don't bypass the civilian authority. Don't allow the, the police agencies to militarize and become a military unit within our borders and the civilian authority had nothing to do with it. That is reckless and irresponsible for us to have this loophole in our law that is as big as a, uh, as a as a tank that can be driven t through it right to the streets uh, by the park police, by the U.S. Park Police, by the U.S. Postal Inspection, even by U.S. Probation and Pretrial Services. Uh, we don't want this to be the case in America, and so we need to close this loophole, not just for local and state law enforcement agencies, but also for federal law enforcement agencies. If it's a federal law enforcement agency that needs equipment, then it's, this jo it's our job here in Congress, in this House of Representatives and in the Senate, to authorize and appropriate whatever equipment they need. We the ones that determine whether or not the equipment is necessary, whether or not uh, it is proper not the agency itself. And under current law, the agency makes all of the decisions. I don't think we want that to be the case here in America with our police agencies uh, able to bulk up and become militarized without our consent. Uh, that's undemocratic. It's a threat to our liberty. And with that, I yield back. Chairman, yield 